Hi, I am Kathy Nguyen. I am a BitFix Technical Advisor at HCO. Today, I will be discussing baseline patching using BitFix. There are many ways to patch within BitFix, and baseline patching is a recommended way. Baselines allow you to gather multiple fixes and tasks into groups that can be applied immediately to any set of target computers. The name baseline was chosen to suggest a minimal set of conditions that could be applied across your network to ensure compliance with corporate guidelines. I will be demonstrating how to create a baseline, the importance of it, and best practices for it. Without further ado, I will jump into my demo environment. Before I create a baseline, one of the things I highly recommend is to create custom filters. Here I have some filters um, that I created for uh, to pick up .NET patches, some patches that I may want to exclude, and uh, fixlets that require manual caching. So basically the idea here is to quickly identify certain fixlets or patches that you would like to exclude from patching. Uh, there you can actually highlight it, right click it, and choose to globally hide for everyone or just yourself, locally hide. I do have other videos on this YouTube channel that kind of um, outlines this process a little bit more. I have one named Big Fix Patching Best Practices. Uh, basically, in that video, it will show you how to um, create these custom filters. And I also have another video, which uh, is called Manually Cache Files on Big Fix Servers. Um, basically, that will find all the patches that you uh, need to include in your baseline that will require uh, manual cache. So check those videos out uh, if you need further directions on creating custom filters or um, fixlets that require manual caching. Um, that is what I highly recommend before actually creating a baseline. Uh, you wanna go through your filters um, and kind of outline those fixlets or patches that you do not want to include or you want to go ahead and uh, manually cache for. So now I'm going to jump into creating a baseline. I'm going to go into my computer groups. These are the groups I have set up in my demo environment. Uh, yours may most like, likely look different, um, but I am going to focus on the all windows group that I created. Um, basically, I'm going to be creating a baseline that applies to all windows endpoints, um, whether it's a server or it's a workstation and all operating systems for windows. Now, this may differ in your environment and depending on how you want to set this up or your environment, um, you may want to create it, create a baseline uh, based off of different operating systems or servers, workstations, and so forth. So this is entirely um, dependent on what, how you want to patch and how your environment is set up. Um, I'll explain or go into this a little further as we create this baseline. So I am going to target this all Windows group that I have. Once I tar highlight that, on the bottom pane, I go to relevant fixlet messages. Here I am going to go by source. Um, the goal for me is to create a baseline that includes all Windows important and critical patches. Um, that's the reason why I am navigating the way I am right now. So let me go to Microsoft and source severity. And here I have 11 critical patches that apply to this group of Windows endpoint. Let me pull this a little bit 
closer. Now, if I go on this, if I pull this over a bit, I should be able to get the source release date. I'm pretty up to date on uh, patching. So uh, you can see that I have April and May patch patches. Uh, depending on how many patches you guys have in your environment, you can pick and choose um the order you want patching uh you want the baseline to create the patches in or for me i'm going to go ahead and just highlight everything under critical since i only have 11 patches and now i'm going to right click and i'm going to add it to a new baseline i'm going to name my baseline so i will name it all windows baseline. And I'm going to create it in my Windows team site. Now, the goal here is you do not want to add it into the master action site. The reason being is because all your endpoints are in the master action site and you do not want this baseline to be you don't want all the machines to be evaluating to this windows uh baseline so i will create it in the windows team um site i can add a description now i'm going to go into components and these are the 11 critical patches fixlets that I've added, and they all have a default action on it. We'll leave that as is, and I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I have a baseline. I'm going to hit the back button because I want to add more fixlets into this baseline. Again, I am focusing on all critical and important. So I will go up and I have two important fixlets. I will go ahead and highlight those. Now I'm going to add it to an existing baseline because I've already created my all windows baseline. Baseline window picks up, pops up. And under the components tab, I see this warning basically it says that one of the components does not have an action. So if, if the fixlet or patch does not have a default action, then that's what's gonna come up to warn you at the very top. So let me go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And sure enough, these two fixlets do not have a default action. Um, I'm gonna pick action one. For, and some of these fixlets have more than one action. Um, if you look at the fixlet itself, um, under the, I believe, description tab, you should be able to see each of the actions underneath there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And again, I'm gonna click on the back button as I wanna go ahead and include some third party app, um, patches in here. So I wanna include Mozilla. And I am going to pick Firefox version 76.0.1. Again, I'm going to add it to my baseline. And there's a default action in there. As you can see, there is no um, warning at the top, um, but there is other actions uh, within some fixlets. Um, again, you can see this in the description of the fixlet itself to, to see what that action does. I'm going to hit OK to this. And let me go ahead and add one more third party patch into this baseline, which is for Adobe. So I'll go ahead and pick that and also add that to the all windows baseline. There it is. So 
you can pick and add these fixlets in the order you like it to, uh, to patch. Or you can also go in here and move these patches up or down um, to where you'd like the order of the baseline to be. Now I'm gonna hit OK. Now I have a baseline and currently I have some endpoints that has already evaluated against this baseline and are showing relevant to this baseline. I'll go to baselines and I see the baseline there. Now I can take action on this baseline against my Windows endpoints. I'll dynamically target by group and I can target the all Windows group that I had chosen to create this baseline against. Um, in the execution tab, uh, there are options for me to schedule uh, the action, or I can leave this unchecked to start now. Um, I can run between different times, uh, different days of the week, use UTC time, and I can check some options if I like for failures to retry. Um, I can start the client downloads before um, the schedule starts uh, so that all of the endpoints will get the downloads prior to um, patch start time so that when patch starts, it's gonna start patching instead of starting the download process. Um, there are a couple more, there are several more um, options within the take action uh, box that you may use um, messages to display before or after or during patching. And of course, there's also post action where you can restart your endpoint and you can add verbiage if you would like that to be uh, more custom and you can set it to a deadline uh, of one minute or more. So that is how you would create a baseline to patch against a group of computers.